just want to thank you very, very much indeed for, for coming today. Pensions, in my view, is, is one of the biggest challenges our, our country faces now. And we face this challenge because of a good thing. We're all living much longer than we used to. But it is causing a problem. And my commission is designed to try and find sensible solutions to that problem. Those of you who've had a chance maybe to look at my interim report will know I hope from one thing from my, my first report. I've got no absolute right here. I just want to find the right solution, fair solution, both to all of you as public servants and to the taxpayers who are involved in co-funding and co-financing your pensions as well. Fairness is a very, very big deal for me. I want these reforms to be sustainable. Uh, I want them to be understood. Uh, I want to ensure that not just you guys, but those who come after you in the public services can look forward to retiring on decent <coughs> quality pensions. When I, when I was a minister, the one thing I, I did learn, my own cost probably, is that if there's a problem, it doesn't usually go away if you don't talk about it. And talking about the pensions problem can be very, very challenging. Um, people's expectations about the future, the sort of lifestyle that they aspire to when they retire, all of these things come into play. And I'm sure today, that is very much what, what you and others will, will want to talk about. Um, today, for me, is, is very important. Um, I am looking at a whole number of reform options. But I think if I can't explain those reforms properly, there's no chance of them being implemented. There's no chance whatsoever of people really following what the argument is. And I think there is a level of maturity in the country now about the pensions challenge we face. People want to know how it can be fixed. And in an age of you know, great uncertainty about the future. Pensions could be the anchor around which we can plan our future a bit more predictably. The confidence, because we all want to have that confidence, that security in our lives. I think there is a way to, to solve this problem. Uh, I think there's a way to solve this problem fairly and sensibly without a race to the bottom, because I'm absolutely not interested in doing that. But I do want to understand today your understanding of the issues and how you feel about it. I got really, really into this. Um, I started with what I thought was a high level of knowledge. I very quickly worked out, actually, I didn't know much. And I had to learn a lot of stuff that's quite technical, quite difficult to understand. How do we explain all of those sorts of things to people outside? Because uh, I think it's very, very important we try and find a way to do that. Um, finally, let, let, let me just end, end with this. I'm going to come back later on today. You can ask me any, any questions you like if you've got any on the tip of your tongue. But I, I was, finally, the final thing I want to say, I, I was so, so lucky as a minister, I had 12 years in, in government. And I looked back over those years and I thought, well, I did some pretty, pretty important things. This will be the most important thing I ever do in my public life. And I want to get this reform absolutely right and sustainable so we don't have to come back here five years ago and go through a similar exercise. Now. Let, let's try and fix this problem uh, and fix it in a fair and sensible way. And I think today, your, your role is going to be very important in helping me do that. So I hope today is to be fun. Uh, pensions can be fun. Um, <laughs> so thank you very much indeed, and I'll see you all later. Thank you.